welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the EGA Season 11 Carcoal Power Rankings. I am your host, Nedlio, and if you're one of these, for some reason, I'm the idiot delivering you. A couple of parameters first. Um, this is a just a friendly ranking, you know, friendly neighborhood ranking. No need to take it too seriously. It's a subjective opinion. Yada yada yada. If you've got a disagreement, um, get in the comments. Um, uh, number two, um, this is just looking at the teams. It's not a comment on the coaches' abilities. If the coaches are strong enough, I'm sure they could take one of these lower teams and win the league with it. So, you know, get it out of the way. Um, let's get into it. At number 16. We have Ash as Ash. Now, I know what you're thinking. You just put this in last because of Cinderace, and admittedly, this is a large reason why this team is lost. This is the worst looking mod in existence. But it goes so much deeper than that. Um, it, there's like not having a grass type, and there's not having a grass type. Like, this is. Three weeks of both of these and only one resist. And it happens with them weeks of that other time, so you know. Please get a grass type. Find a way for it to get a grass type. Um it's also a smattering of horrendous type weaknesses like quarter two of the grounds here. Uh, three to two versus rocks, three to one versus ghosts. This is pretty rough. Um also, let's give momentum is momentum's okay, I guess. Like you have a chilly reception soaking, so that does something. You have a few U turnips, so that does something a little bit. Okay. Toss and necessary mortars go up once a run a U turn. I don't know what they're trying to set up with the terror. Um, your hazard stack is okay. Hazard removal. I mean, it's a good default, but it's only a default there. There is a bit of a set of you of like double magic to bounce, so I guess we try for that. Um, but yeah, feels like it's not a quick team either. Like, Cinderace doesn't really tend to run Scarf, Mega Diancy can't run Scarf, Zapdos so only rarely runs Scarf. Um, Walters Galar, I've only seen stuff once. And then you can have like Nita King. And like you don't run AU stuff, you run a Tortomizer. So really, it's, this is. <laughs> Thank you. 
no ground poison types, so there's no absorbing these spikes either. Yeah, momentum's kind of. Oh, yeah, I've already mentioned that. Um, in terms of speed tiers, I mean, there's a big drop from 100 to 65, and a decent drop from 60 to 30. Uh, this, this one isn't so bad, but 100 to 65 still is pretty significant. Um, there's an element of maybe trick room with like slow bro, but um, you know, is your team slow enough to take advantage of it? I don't really think so. Um, and yeah, you've got slow bro and Renarigas probably to take advantage of it. Then of how good your steals are, but ultimately, uh, if there's a lot of holes here, your damage is like pretty. Yeah, phenomenal, that's probably taking it off the bottom. Um, yeah, at least the top of the skill. Okay. Number 14, we have uh, Penguin. We have Penguin's team. Um, so, there's some very nice terrors here, just straight up off the bat. First two mods. Um, I, I mean, I love Terra Celestial, don't get me wrong. I love Tapu Koko. Terra and Tapu Koko, it's obviously very solid. Um, you've got some, you know, good hazard setting. Like, you know, Tinkerton's a very solid second locker. Tingo sets and hazards very solidly. There's T Spikes Tentacruel, another very solid mon. Good Rapid Spinner, good Deep Toggle. So, your hazard control is okay. Um,. You know, your team's fairly quick. Well, like, you got three mods above 120, that's a fairly quick team. Um, so why is it down here? I think it's, it's a funny thing. So, like, you've got some good terrors, you've got good hazard, you've got good removal, you've got, like, good, good, like, some physical attackers here. Okay, fine, I can get behind this. I feel like my biggest problem is you just kind of lack the special damage in a lot of ways. You have a Coco in each terrain, okay. Celesteela's moves tend to not have the highest base power on the special side, but it's not bad. Appleton won't come every game, but Apple has his own terrible place in close. But I feel like you're only like out and out, like I'm gonna hit you really hard if Mega Pidgey up. Like, this is the only one I'd ever be, like, kind of scared of on the special side here, on this team. Like, I feel like you can absorb the rest of your hits here and go, like, okay, I can hang on. Definitely hang on. But the problem is, <sighs> Mega Pidgeot doesn't give you a speed tier. Here, I don't think. It doesn't... It doesn't, like, you know, it gives you a Rock's, we rocks Weakness, which you're gonna constantly have to babysit. It's not a mod I like. It's very like you know. It's your only. Sp if being your only good special attacker kind of shoehorns it in, and it's like you have a Mega Pidgeot, you have a Celesteel. If you're automatically more electric weak on a team with electric terrain, not great. You have to be working to get rid of rocks all of the time because of Mega Pidgeot. <laughs> it's a it's a hard one to to use effectively in my in my opinion. No Guard Hurricane is terrific. I just feel like that's kind of all it has going for it. Like, if it, if you didn't have, like, Iron Boulder filling basically a better, a slightly better speed to above it, basically filling its role here, and if it wasn't the only, like, proper, spe proper wall brain special attack on your team, I wouldn't be as concerned, but I am concerned. Feels like a lot of its job are taken up by other team members, and the one thing it does excel in, it needs to be getting and hitting the field a lot, makes it weak to rocks. Everything's gonna run electric coverage as well, so it's a bit rough on that front, but again, I might be a bit biased on Mega Pidgeot. Um, your momentum's kind of it's it's alright. Like, again, Mega Pidgeot, Pidgeot work, trying to work around a rocks. You can work around a rocks here, but it's, 
it's it's a bit of a momentum sink, obviously. Just kind of counteracts your ability to U-turn. If you're U-turning Omega Pidgeot, your best special attacker is not hurricaning. That's a problem. Um, yes, Volt Switch or U-turn's good. Flip turn's good. I don't know how often you're running Lantern when you have a Coco and Tentacruel needing to come, but to come to get things done you need this rapid spin you need this for you know just doing a ton of damage to an electric type which gives you a ground weakness if you got these two and then trying to add lantern on as well so i don't really know how often you're getting this in to do slow momentum um what else like yeah that kind of makes you a bit ground weak. Like, it, although, otherwise, it's, it's an okay team. Like, I'm hoping these terrors can really help you out here. And Tabby Coco and Silver Steeler. It's just, yeah, there's a couple of problems which irk me with this one. Well, maybe it's just me, but I kind of have to put this in 14th. Sorry, Penguin. Um, number 13, we got Olivia's team. Um, now, Latias and Volcarona are good Terrors, like Levitate with Terra Latias is very strong, I like that. Volcarona is very strong with Terra. Terra all over, yeah, no Terra loss, but what can you do? You, do, you can definitely find success still because Quiver Dance is kind of crack, honestly. Um, I mean, you got Sneasel, that's always fun. Um... Yeah, Ferrothorn's extremely solid, Swamp is extremely solid, so I like your top 5 to 7, I'd say, here. Like, I like these quite a bit. Um, and then you get down here, and I'm questioning a lot here. Um, it's it's a team that's got fairly good hazard hazards, it's got a suite of good defoggers. Although no rapid spin hurts a bit when you're trying to sort of spikes of the Pharaoh. I just, yeah, I don't know what Bassidon gives you because it's not Terra. It's pretty bad. Like, Evi, maybe I could see, but Taiki's kind of, what is it doing when you have a Ferrothorn on the side? I it, it feel like it'd be purely there for, like, grassy terrain support, to be honest. And I don't know if that's enough to justify a team slot for it when. It might be better to just run like a white herb or something on Sneasler, for example, or Citrus, than to dedicate a team slot to Thwacky. And then you got Obstagoon, no, I'm not a fan of Obstagoon. This Mon, <sighs> on paper it doesn't look too, doesn't look as bad, but it it's, the fighting weakness really hurts. It's not quite fast enough, it doesn't quite hit hard enough, and hard enough outside of proking guts I guess it's not the worst thing I've ever seen but again I've just had some really bad experiences trying to get Obstagoon to work and it just can get hit way too easily like very fighting weak quite very weak yeah I don't know um however you know that's that's um you've got some good momentum I guess going for you so there is that like you know there's a flip turn Swampert which is always going to be valuable um if you do bring E via Volt Switch okay you turn Volcarona and you turn Sneasel all right fine I've seen that come I think yeah your speed's all right like your speed is a a bit stacky but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen um. Yeah, you have special attackers, you have physical attackers, yeah, your damage is good, it's fine. Your defense is alright. Alright, although right. Bastiodon again is skewing like these values down here. Yeah, but at least you got Ferrothorn, so I'm not Ferrothorn at this one, but makes this the kind of a solid call here. This should be hard to break down. There's a few tight weaknesses for sure. Um, none of them are like crippling, crippling. Um, although, yeah, if, again, a ghost type ever fights, finds fighting coverage, you're in a, any fighting coverage, you're in a lot of trouble, because being quad weak on your only, 
Pokemon that comes into Ghost Moves is not great. Um, yeah, yep. decent enough cause, like, you know, has it to work. It's not definitely not a bad team, a team too much, it's just got, it's got like some superfluous bits which I really don't think add much, especially like these two, and this can't, is just the one I don't like. So, like, it does more in paper than it, I feel like it ends up doing in practice, so. And it's, yeah. So I guess that's number f Oh, sorry, that's number Did I say 14 earlier for this? Did I say 14 earlier for this? I think 13. 13. Yeah. Um, number 12. Um, I don't know if I'm getting amnesia at the moment. Um, Collector. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That right, 12. Yeah. Okay, so this team has a Terra Blaze again, and that's very solid. Um, it's also got a Terra Kamala. Not really a mod I want to see, particularly ever used, but you know, fine. I guess Terra might make it slightly yeah, less useless. Um, Golden Go Solid, Dark Cry is a threat, Moxie Mance is a threat. Everyone knows we love Claude Zyra in this house. Forges is alright. Tangrove is okay. Toys is okay. So there's some, there's some good mons here. Like you got a decent enough hazards with Claude Zyra and webs here. You got a good rapid spinner and a mid rapid spinner. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, the webs do help with your pace a bit because oh, outside of Darkrai. Galvax so doesn't do a ton of damage, so you, it, I feel like it's really here to help Mens and really here to help Goldengo save Blaze again from Scarfers, so I can see that work it helps out Blastoise with the Shell Smash against really fast Scarfers. So this Galvantula Sticky Web pick works, you just need to keep those webs up. You do. And thankfully, you have a Goldengo to do that, so th there's, some, there's some good stuff here. Um. I'm rather ground weak, which is not great, although part of your weakness is Aurorus, so not entirely sure what Aurorus is going to help you with, but okay, it's there. It's, it might pr pr produce a surprise special attacking threat later, I don't know. Like, your team's very tanky as well, I'll give it that, but I do just. I don't. What, what I think of your momentum is probably what's for me holding this team back a bit. And I mean, if you don't manage to get webs up, the speed isn't putting really that great. But if you do keep webs up, it's okay. But your momentum, I think, is a problem because Volt Switch, yeah. I don't know how often you run U turn on this Blaziken if you're trying to tear it and often will be going for game with it. So I don't know how often you do that. I don't know where you run Kamala, especially with Blastoise just being a far better spinner. So I don't know where this comes in. So this is never you turning. So then we get to this, and this is flip turning and rapid spinning. So yeah, it, it might get a bit shoehorned into that role, admittedly. You might not be able to shell smash as often as you'd like. But yes, the momentum is holding this team back a bit. Um. Because hopefully, you know, your Galvantula might even live long enough to get webs down and then do a second thing. <laughs> and if it's Volt Switching at like 1 HP after Sash, then maybe, maybe, I don't know. It'd be a very offensive way of playing on a non board in many ways, a very, like, I guess kind of balanced team here. Like, this is very defensive and this is very offensive. This is support, and this is very whatever. So, eh, it might might work. Yeah, yeah. I think if you can manage to just if you can manage to get the webs up and rolling, like this team can probably patch up its weaknesses. Okay, um, it just does require like 
all the component parts to slot together and lacking momentum a little bit isn't ideal because like if something's called the only thing that's going to be constantly pivoting i think might be the blastoise so you know that it's definitely not a bad team but yeah it's a couple things to work out number 11 we have McNutt we have McNutt um now we have a terror raging bolt we have a terror registeel that's all fantastic love that it's a very solid backup terror to a very strong pre premier terror in a raging bolt so yeah that's working for me I've got a sun thing going here triple proto um droughtmon no um a chlorophyll which is not ideal but it's, it's not so it's not game ending i suppose I'll, I'll i'll get into it a bit later but you know you got decent pace the little stacky with zardwai and shaman shaman and mismagius but okay fine you got what is probably the best rapid spinner in the game and you got some really solid hazards with screamtail and registeel and tasks like when are you not getting rock sound <laughs> um decent spike spikers and d spikers okay we can we can do something with this you know your momentum, however, is kind of mm, like Raging Bolt's. Like, don't get me wrong, good momentum user, absolutely. It kind of lacks support. The Tom Pass on Screamtail is. Well, I, I just think the Tom Pass is a man move, so you can use it. I don't know how often Screamtail actually fits the Tom Pass on its sets. And part, that's part of the problem with what Greninja also has is how often on Greninja do you fit U-turn? The bit for move slot syndrome sometimes with it, especially on like if you want to run a battle bond set, that is a very much a lack of momentum will likely happen. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, the same certainly has some damage, um, especially with Megazard Y. I think you're going to be leaning into that damage quite a bit on Megazard Y because unfortunately it is a drought user that can neither run heavy duty boots with a quad of rock weakness or can't run heat rock. So trying to run Sun here, which you're trying to do with these three protosynthesis uses, I get it. I get the impulse for sure. It's just it makes it significantly harder to support those mons in the way you think you can so you're going to probably be just utilizing Zardwai more as a breaker on its own than getting sun up for the others which is probably why not having a chlorophyll mon is not as big a loss here as it otherwise might be if you say how to talk of or nine tails um your team's solidly tanky um the flying weakness is can be mitigated a bit because you know hurricane isn't great in sun so in sun you got two very good resists and i mean one of them's got spot so meh um the fairy weakness uh is a little scarier especially if for in for whatever reason tusk dies early and they get rocks down again and wanting to fairy resist is gonna really struggle with those. Might just die to two moon blasts. Well, more likely play rough, but yeah. So a little rough on that, but it's not too bad. I think overall, um I, don't, I guess I don't really know what you're doing, Gradient. You might bring it into a Spectre I guess, but eh okay. Overall, not a bad, not a bad team, definitely. Um, I just wish, I just wish that like this is a cool idea, the sun, but it's it's not a great sun one for supporting a team. So yeah, that's it's kind of the lost potential is what I'm more 
concerned about, along with a bit of a lack of usable momentum. Um, number nine. We have, who do we have, who do we have? Am I miscounted? One, two, three, five, six. So it gets us to 11. No, this is number 10. I can, I can count. Number 10, number 10. Um, this is Trace. This is Trace's team. Um, Shifu Rapid. It's a very, very good terror. Um, Bella Bolt is okay, I suppose. But compared to a Shifu Rapid, I mean, I don't know how often you click in this when you've got this, this bad boy on your team. Um, yeah, you got Terabagos, you got Mega Scissor, you got Dragonite. There's some real physical damage here. This this is very scary. You've got Moxie Croc. Like, I'm terrified. Um So great physical attackers, unfortunately special attackers leave a lot to be desired. You're basically relying on Terra Star Storm at this high base power to kinda of carry you over the line here. And there's also Mesprit, I guess, and the might be Dragonite in some matchups, and might be Bella Bolt in some matchups, but none of them exceed 105 special attack, which is not good. Um, and none of them really like go out of their way and shatter a steel type on the special side. And I mean, like, okay, well, Dragonite kind of gets an earthquake on the physical side, so we can kind of just. So it's kind of just ignore that there. Because you can just run a spit F, you could run a spit F steel type, I feel, quite easily versus this team and just go like, I'm dumb. Because you're going to wall the Whimsicott, you're going to have a solid time against an Earth Power Terrapagos, who doesn't have stab on it. You're going to have a solid time against Mesprit, who can't really hit you, hit you for a lot of damage, and you're going to have a solid enough time against Bellabolt, who. How often is Bellabolt going to come? Maybe a couple of times, but definitely not every time. But okay. Um, you're a bit flying weak. Okay, fine. Fine, Bella Bolt's your only resist. Not a 100% ideal, but... A uh, bit ice weak. Okay, yeah. What have you got going for you? Uh, like, there's solid, solid few rockers. That's nice. Um, you have... Oh, again, one of the best rapid spinners in the format in Terrapago, so that's nice. Like, it wants to get speed, so it's going to be running rapid spin anyway. Most matchups, you've got some really a lot of good defoggers to back that up. You've got a lot of solid U turners, so this team momentums very well. Um, and that really helps with a Shifu. Because it's it's freaking it's a sh it's terror Shifu. I, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. This Mon is is terrifying. If you can get position that, you can position Crocodile and Dragonite. This this is a lot of potential. There's just yeah, it's a few weaknesses. Um, I will note your speed is. Mm, I don't like your speeds necessarily. Well, no, I, I don't like your speed without a caveat at all. Um, because, look, they're fast, I get that. They don't hit very hard. So your fastest mon that hit does actual damage is a Shifu Rapid at 97. Like, so, Talonflame Whimsicott do exist. But if you're going to late game sweep, kind of relying on like likes of Scarf Crocodile, Spin to Rapagos, and maybe... Trailblazer Shifu Rapid, and that, that all kind of requires a bit of setup or getting with Crocodile getting teams into a certain position where you can just spam a one move and win. Um, or I guess DD speed T Knight, I don't know. DD Knight, there, there's some ways you can work around that top end speed not being great. Great for your damage. But also, it's this. <laughs> the 85 to 75. This is this this triple 80 is rough, dude. This triple 80 is rough. I don't care how little you bring Arbok. This is rough. <laughs> yeah, seems this is easier to prep against, obviously. Um, it's a 10 one team. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, kind of like a special attackers, but at the same time, there's so much like 
there's otherwise just so much damage here. You got the you got the rocks, you got the hazard control, and you got the momentum to make it work. I think. So you know, good luck with that one, Trace. Now we have team number nine. We have Nathan. We have Dragapult. <laughs> Fantastic Mon. Excellent. Good stuff. Um, Terra Ogavon and Terra Crest are both very solid. I love Levitate Terra Mons. Well, love is a strong word. But I love Terra as much as um, you, as I realistically can when it's on a Levitate Mon because it just basically just allows you to bullshit your way out of so many things. Because it's like go poison type and just like be weak to one thing which is psychic and who is ever clicking a psychic move to Cresselia right or you have Terra Ogapon and that just outruns everything <laughs> so that's kind of fun I mean neither of them are like OP but they're, they're str strong enough uh, Mega Morwile, Sheer Force Landorus yeah he's got the, the, they've got damage Nate's got damage for sure Ariana's kind of funny um, um, a few rockers which work, you know, Lando can set rocks, I guess, Colossal has hazards, sure. Spikes are, spikes are good on Ogre Bomb, yeah, T-Spikes on Drapion is a very solid option to have. I'm not a huge fan of Colossal though, just because it's got a few quad weaknesses, obviously, it's slow. Um... It feels like they were kind of with Steam Engine prepping it to have Terra, and obviously this doesn't have Terra, so yeah, I don't know. It it can be a bit fallible for sure. It can be fallible for sure, but you know, if you can survive long enough, then it can definitely do some useful things. Alternatively, you've got Defog Road and Wash, and I mean Defog Road and Wash is perfectly solid. Um, your momentum is very good. Um, great slow momentum, slow Volt Switch into three fast U-Turners, and I guess Type Null as well. I think it gets Biting Shot too. Um, and that just allows Mega Morale to get in consistently and just wreak utter havoc. Utter havoc. Um, your speed is... Uh, I mean, you got Dragapult and Terra Ogapon, and that's nice. Uh, it's not the slowest team. I suppose. I don't know, there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot down here, but okay, maybe. That, that's probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be. Um, yeah, it's, it, they're, they're decent terrors. You got. The damage is good. Like, the special attack is decent with Glaceon, and then just Sheer Force Landorus just shatters things. And Draco from Dragapult is really helpful, and I don't need to say more about your physical attack. Your bulk is pretty good on the physical side, so it's alright on the special side. So, you know what? Yeah, we take this. This is a very solid team in a lot of ways. Um, I mean, it, it, maybe a tower could be a bit stronger, but yeah, I don't have a huge amount of problems with this team, so. I feel like the teams are going to get quite good from here. Um, you know, we have team 9. 8. Team 8. I can, again, you know, I, I pass maths. Star Maiden. <laughs> I can count on my fingers. We have Terra Torti and Terra Skeletorch. Um, This is very good, obviously. Both very solid. Like this pivots forever. Fantastic. Um it's a bit of a shame that's not Terra Quackoval, but okay, fine. Um also don't know how you got um all three of the starters here from Paldia, but you go off. Um you got Mew, Gligas with Roosters, great. Hiskudra is great. Um Fezendivity is okay, I suppose. I don't know. Plus he's alright. Your hazards are very solid. Yeah, um, your defog is very solid. You got a decent rapid spinner. It's just a question of when will you run the rapid spinner over other moves. Well, scroll I think. 
Um, you got a lot of U-turners. Like, I mean, you got seven momentum users here, and they, I mean, these all overlap with the U-turners. So yeah, okay. So there's some good momentum here. Yeah. All right. Good hazard removal. Good hazards. We like this. We like to see it. Um. Speed, there's a bit of a gap here. And then you got 385, which is really not ideal. Deal, and I get Illawise probably isn't coming that much. And I get the Clock of Alcon Aqua step easily, but yeah. That's not a great thing to see still. Um, you're a bit fair, you. No, sorry, you're actually quite a lot flying weak. <laughs> sorry to say that. But, um, you know, you'd, you'd be happy to have Gujra H as a resist, but it's also your only resist, so that's workable or roundable. It's encouraging them to bring it. Um, you know, this is encouraging rocks to come as well, not ideal, although, again, you can tear these out of it. We'll just run boots, so this isn't awful. A bit ice weak. But yeah, I think you've got like, and your damage is not phenomenal. Like it's okay, it's okay with like I guess flower trick hurricane. You just me things, CC on this, and when it gets speedball rolling with Moxie, um, this can torch song out of control pot potentially. Um, it's just. It feels like it's lacking a bit of a breaker overall. But hey, I like the momentum. Um, I like the tankiness on this team. It's a very tanky team. Like from here, like like all of these mods just scream tank. You've, it's going to be quite hard to break it down. Um, and you can pivot really easily between them. Um, your terrors, even if you don't have a terror Quackovol, which would be really nice, augment your offense. Skeleton and Taunty are still very strong terrors. Uh, yeah. I think you can. You know, I think my main issue is the debt is the bit of a lack of damage, honestly, and the flying weakness. But I feel like you can work around those. Those with what you do have, which is quite good. Hopefully, yeah. Also, solid hazard game can help augment the damage too. Number seven. Gotta write that time. Impulse. Impulse has a Terra Deoxys speed and Terra Sylveon, so again, decent Terras. Nothing like out of this world, but you know, they're good enough. You know, Terra Psychic Psycho Boost is always a menace. Uh, you know, you've got Palafin, Treads is great. Um, I'm seeing, a, again, this is, seems like a quite a bulky team overall. And it's quite a bulky team with a fair amount of momentum. Like, there's two Volt Switches, there's a U-Turner, there's two Flip Turners. I guess even this has Baton Pass, although I've voiced my thoughts about Baton Pass bef before. Might be losing my voice a bit, sorry. Um, you've got really good spinner, one of the best spinners in the game. Okay, well, especially I think in draft, this is one of the best spinners. Um, you've got good defoggers in Mo and Mandibuzz. You've got, like, good rockers. Meltank is a solid rocker. You've got decent spikes and, like, you know, with Dio as well. So this kid can definitely work. Uh, I don't love the stack here. 100 stack is really rough. Uh, if you don't run Scarf or Palafin here or Megazard or Miltank at all either, so it, it feels like there's a real. It can be a lack of differentiation here. It, 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 it kind of depends. I don't know, you go tank Miltank DD on this and Jet Plunge, and maybe I'm, I'm trolling myself a bit by saying that. But. Yeah, seeing that isn't ideal, because if something can take jet punches, it can be suddenly very hard for you to deal with a mon that's a bit over a base 100 speed, or even a bit if it's a bit faster than treads, because there's a very large gap from DO speed to treads as well. Not ideal. 
Um, your physical damage is pretty great. Your special damage is less so. Terra Deoxys V can patch that up a bit. But two of your best special attackers would rather be physical attackers. I guess, um, I don't know. Um, Pixelate Sylveon, I guess you're going to be relying, relying on. It's not as bad as a couple of the other teams I've seen. But yeah, it's not great. Not great. Um, and Sylveon without Terra Blast is also lacking a bit as well. So you're going to have to, as the Terra option, so you'll just have to watch out for that. Um, you are rock weak. You can't run boots on Mega's art. That's that's not new, but hopefully you can compensate for that with your as removal. You're very ground weak. Um, okay, this is dealable with what you have. Mo and Mandibuzz, and you can momentum around pretty easily with them, so that isn't too bad. So I think like it's not the tankiest team I've ever seen, but it's not a frailest team I've ever seen either. No, like these are decently tanky enough. You know, if there's enough bulk on like some of these guys to go like, okay, we can work with this. Yeah, it's got enough momentum to work. I think this is, I think, yeah, my main thing is, it's, yeah, the Terrors could be a little stronger, maybe. And maybe there could be another special attacker somewhere in there to really give it some oomph, but um, you could well prove me wrong on that one. Um, number six. We have Reyna. Um, Terra Glyscore is a menace. <laughs> um, can we get this ban from OU? Uh, please. Um, Terra Gog is Terra Gog. It's a very annoying one to deal with. Although I think Terra Glyscore... Eh, I don't know. Terra Glyscore can definitely, it's probably the preferred Terra option because you can just go very offensive with that. Or, you know, just go Terra Water, I don't know. No one's, <laughs> imagine clicking Ice Beam or like Surf into Glyscore and suddenly it's a water type. It's just like, how am I meant to kill this? Because <laughs> who was clicking Electromers of this anyway? Yeah, they just water type and there's nothing they can do. It's very funny. Um. Like you've got a very solid nine months. It is nine months, but you got a very solid nine months. Mega Glade does a lot of damage. Auto spikes is brilliant. Um, a lot of this team is very tanky. Rillaboom hits extremely hard. Heatran hits fairly hard. It's a bit of help here with some ground weaknesses. You have some help from Rillaboom. I can definitely see that. Those scores a fantastic pivot into those. Um. So what else, what else? Um, you could be a fairy weak, you're a bit ice weak. Okay, I, I do see that. Um, fortunately, Bliskor could hopefully tear out of that ice weakness and help flip that a bit, but... <sighs> Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, your rockers are good. Um, you sp I, mean, yeah, I mean, you have a Bliskor, your hazard's is gonna be good. And then you've got Heatran on top of that, my god. Um, decent enough hazard removal. Like, this is all okay. This is definitely all okay. Bolt Switch is good because it's transistor alecky. Um, U turn Blood Score is fine. U turn Rillaboom is like mandatory to have, have on Rillaboom unless you're like really going for game with SD. And if you have that much up, then um, yeah, call me. I don't see those, I actually see those very often where you don't. Need to U turn a lot first. Um, flip turn. Uh, I guess I could maybe see a bit of use from this, although you're probably just ceaseless edging, ceaseless, ceaseless edge suiciding with the samurai. Um, yeah, your damage is okay. Uh, grassy terrain, Rillaboom, uh, Mega Laid. Yeah, Transistor Alecky on this side. You try and hits really hard. Budra hits Draco's. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, it's not as good on the special special side, but it's it's workable. Um, yeah, so a few weaknesses. Speed is eh. Speed's kind of eh. Yeah, this gap is huge. 
and you can't scarf Mega Lady, you're never scarfing a Lecky, so you're getting down to a Gliscor, you're also never scarfing. So yeah, you do scarf Samurott, but yeah, if you're down to base 85s at that point, it's not not great. Um and these two share a speed too, I guess. I don't know. Like it's a bit close there, but oh well, bit stacked. Um, so, yeah, you've got decent enough momentum, you've got good hazards, you've got good, like, damage, you're not too weak to anything, Gliscor is one of the most annoying ones in existence, and then Garganacle with Terror is one of the most annoying ones in existence. So, you can definitely annoy teams, um, I, and, you know, with, like, the likes of Salt Cure and the momentum working for you, and like just free hazards out of Samurott. Um, I mean, yeah, hopefully you can get your opponent to be switching a lot. So that's good. Um, yeah, so there's definitely a lot going for this team. Um, I just, I don't know, like, while these towers are definitely annoying to deal with, um, they're not like out and out, like, I'm terrified of this, really. I might have said Glisco was terrifying early, I could lose my mind. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a very scary mod to do with, but it's not blatantly offensive and with terror will shatter your team. It's a bit more, I can set up an SD quite easily and be quite scary that way, but we'll see. We'll see, maybe with a more offensive terror and maybe with a bit better in terms of like speed beyond like a mega late than, you know, maybe this team like, because there's no base hundreds after mega late either, it's down to Gliscor, so it's not ideal. So that's gonna make up number six, I think. Number five, we have Aaron. Um, I mean, this is a Terra Ashifu single. Um, it's your only Terra, but it is Terra Ashifu single, so it's very strong. Um, you've got two good rockers, that's nice. You've got a decent rapid spinner, some key foggers, okay, that's fine. Um, you've got some really great momentum, like, it's... where do I even start with this? Volt switch, slow fit turns. Slow Volt Switch, terrifying U-Turner, terrifying U-Turner, very solid U-Turner, solid U-Turner. I think there's, yeah, these two are parting shotters as well. Or am I trolling with Cycles up being a parting shotter? I can't, I can't remember. Um, your team's fairly tanky as well with Aloe and Rachi and Mega Venu and stuff like that. Intimidate Lando. Um, it does a lot of damage. Damage with like, I guess if Bundle does hit its Hydro Bombs, it does a lot of damage. I give it no scary. Um, there's hopefully enough with Jirachi and Rotom Heat to then back them up. Um, you have a Ground of Poison with Mega Venusaur, so you're not reliant on Glimmit, thankfully. Um, not 100% sure what you're gonna do with the Glimmits, like. If you want spikes and T spikes, okay, fine. If you want easy T spikes with toxic debris, fine. Um, I just feel like that then might also force you to run cycles to get spin on the field. Um, does Glim make a mortal spin or is that a Glamour only thing? I don't know. Yeah, I'll reserve a little more judgment on that, but yeah, I don't know how often you're running this and this. Uh, you're a bit fighting weak, but okay. Hopefully tearing out of that can resolve that a bit, although again, I don't know how often you're bringing Dusk's Noir either, so that's not great. Um, what else? Also, if you tear you're a bit dark weak as well, but overall, like, your speed is pretty good. Um, I've got a ton of HP. Whatever. Whatever, hopefully Ally can cover for that. 
yeah otherwise you're not you're not too weak to any types you got a fast team it all hits fairly hard and your momentum is super solid and your rocks are very solid so yeah yeah i think you got a good team here oh no i have parting shot here okay you don't get parting shot right okay so this is a good f number five team it was aaron Number four, we have Amy Ra. <laughs> we have Amy Ra. Okay, Terra Zarud is an excellent starting point. Galaging, following up with Galaging Fire and Iron Valiant is an excellent second and third mod. Like, your top three are. S that's some of the best top three I've, I've ever seen. Um, Nita King is okay. And then it, it, it dips a bit after that, like Nita King's solid enough, like there's some a lot of solid enough mods here, like you can see, I like Azumarill a lot, Ramblegoss is decent with Poltergeist, yeah, okay. Um, sure you're a bit ghost weak and one of your best answers here is Swallow, but then your other answer is Root, so, I suppose so, I mean, yeah. Having two psychic types isn't ideal. Um, without like a mitigation against ghosts or darks, really. I don't know. Like you've got good rockers, decent spiker, good T spiker, okay rapid spinner. You've got decent momentum. Like these can all momentum out fairly well. Um, you're pretty flying weak. But I, well, again, what ultimately draws me to this team is just, again, it's the likes of Terra Fizzer with Gouging Fire and Iron Valley, which can, with the, this does provide enough, like, hazard support, does provide enough momentum support from the lower ranks to give these three the time to cook. And if they're allowed to cook for any time at all, you will probably win a lot of games. Um, yeah, your speed is very solid. Solid, like, you know, booster energy, Swallow being Swallow, Zarud, DD, DD Gouging. This T waves every other thing, I swear. Um, Belly Drum Aqua Jet, sure, why not? Let's add that. So, this is not a flawless team, but I feel like there's some really strong stuff here to make up for it. Your damage is very good, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Mega Camera Figure, best special attacker might be a problem, but then again, you have an Iron Crown, so and an Iron Valiant, so I don't know why I'd be questioning that really, if I'm being honest. And that's again backed up by the Valiant, the gouging with Heat Crash, the Zarud being Zarud. Yeah, okay, this team for me is number four. I like it. Amy Ra with four A's, I believe. Number three, Paco. Paco, Paco, Paco. Um, now I highly respect the swallow. Um, I don't know if you needed to tear the swallow, but because you know it's giving to the team its best with its poison typing, so I don't know if you needed to tear it. Terra Victini is very good, obviously. Getting rid of the fire weakness, getting rid of the psychic typing, yeah, that's all very solid. Solid stuff, and if you, I mean, although if you go terrify with me, create God spare anyone else that faces you. Um, I mean, Zorora is stupidly quick. Um, you got Torn, you got Chomp, yeah, you got Carp. Like, this team has a lot of pace going for it. It's got some decent hazards with Clef and Chomp. Um, Mega Toys is a very good spinner. You know, you've got some Defog there to back it up. you got some decent momentum, like all of the... The, um, Aurora down to the Plus Toys and everything in between. Get momentum pretty well, even I guess Clef would put on pass, but... It, mm. Tom Basclef is slower, I guess, than a lot of the ones I've seen. 
I tend to be a bit more versatile outside of that. But again, I don't know how often you're fitting that. Um, the team's a bit ground weak, it's a bit flying weak. But a bit ice weak, okay. It I think it hits hard enough on both sides of the spectrum to do stuff. It's got enough tank stuff stats to do stuff, like to live long enough, like bulky offense style. So yeah, I I like this team. It's I feel like it's it's kind of just got enough of everything for me. Like it's not like broken in like any of the categories. But I feel like it's just got enough for me to just go like, yeah, this is super solid and I really like it. Like it because, you know, this can get off the train, this can get off the train. This is just annoying to deal with. This is, this terrifies me. I don't want to eat a sun boosted V create. I suppose fortunately I don't, but you know. <laughs> um, you know, Clef is Clef. Torn is Torn. Um, Sneaky DD's here. Our Bolivar is underrated, and I mean, it's a Swallow, man. This is a Goat Mon. Number two. Um, wait, hang on. Did I click on Jaeger's yeah, Okay. Number two. Um, we have Aces. This is Terra Melee and Terra Celebi. Now these are two very good Terras. I mean, Mellow Metals speaks for itself, and Celebi getting rid of its terrible typing can only be a good thing, and allow its stats to work for it really well. So, you know what? I'm a big fan of that, as, like, you know, that like, works in contingent... works, sorry, works in tandem with Mellow Metal. Um... I mean, I'm looking at top five especially, and that's kind of terrifying. Um, you got two bug types, which is interesting, but I think fortunately for you, they're two of the best bug types in the game. This is a good, okay bulk on Sticky Weather. It's a little vulnerable to taunt, but otherwise it's okay. Okay, because, you know, and actually, never mind, you have 145 special attack you need, which is really hard. And then Cleaver kind of just auto sets rocks for you. Um, and Celebi can also set rocks if you can't make a cleaver, so Celebi definitely does fill that role. Both cleaver and Celebi can U-turn, so that's very solid. Um, you got Webb's Vicar Vault, very solid defog options. Unfortunately, no spinner, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, especially if you don't bring the Vicar Vault, so then only having defoggers is not too bad. Um, you got very solid momentum with all six of these guys. Um, you're a bit flying weak, you're a bit, you're actually significantly ice weak I am noticing, but thankfully at least Finny and Melly and Terra Salivy will help to patch it up a bit for sure. And also a bit fire weak, that's kind of par for the course when you're running a Vicar Vault and a, like two bug types means well, you don't have a rock type that resists fire obviously and stuff like that. But it's not, again, not not world ending weaknesses, your speed's very solid. Solid, it's not broken, but it's, it's okay. It's a bit overlappy, but you know, it's okay. Because you got a roaring moon, and Crobat's a bro. I love Crobat. Um, and importantly, you've got a very solid web setter, and that makes up for a lot on a team that hits stupidly hard between like these. Honestly, these four, like people underestimate Annihilate's damage, but when you're, if you're getting hit a lot and hitting hard with Rage Fist, or I've seen them, a lot of them will go like, I'm just gonna click CC and Gunk Shot and Earthquake and have like that point of difference and then U turn span continuously. So, so some of them do that as well. Finny is just so solid, like they're gonna struggle to stop a Mel Metal if it's in terrain. Um, in the misty terrain. Um, I'm, um, I am actually just noticing a bit of an anti synergy here with the moon and the finny because of that misty surge. Your dragon attacks aren't going to hit as hard as you'd like them to. Um, but I think overall, this is a very, for me, this is a very good team. Like, there's 
There is nine ballers here who I'd back into any game. So, you know what? And I mean, yeah, you got damage. You got an definitely got enough. Have enough bulk to be working with, although uh, maybe a little lacking special bulk on the slower mons, but okay, whatever. Whatever, I think you've got enough outside of that going for you. Yeah. You've got enough pivot to enough pivot to work around that. And yeah. For me, yeah, he's takes his team a second. Which leaves in number one Kuma Bear. Um Kuma Bear, Kuma Bear, Kuma Bear. You've got a Terra Ogapon Wellspring, excellent. Terra Moltres, excellent. Alright, good start. Um, you've also got... I mean, Gala King is very solid. Um, and Kinchili Reception of Kurum, that's a very nice synergy. Um, gives Kurum a bit more longevity. Pre Marina is... Good Don Fan is a good rapid spinner, so your momentum, your hazard removal is good, your momentum is good. Like you've got five different momentum bonds, which will work quite well. You've got good rocks, decent, a uh, good T spiker. Um, yeah, that's a good rapid spinner there. Um, you're only really a bit ghost weak, weak, but I mean your ghost resist is King Gambit. And I mean, you've got a King Gambit as well. Somehow I pick seven. So, I mean, yeah. This team can definitely... Sorry, I said five. I meant six with Gala King. So this team is an, it's another momentum heavy team. It gets rocks up very easily. It deals with opposing hazards fairly easily. T-spikes can be annoying. Like, And again, Kurum's terrifying. Terror or Gapon Wellspring is terrifying. Terra Moltres gets rid of its biggest weakness and can give it a real leg up. And yeah, Prima Reed is super solid, super solid, super solid. Intimidate, being able to intimidate cycle on a fast mod, like you intimidate cycle on full switch. And you can deal with like late game threats like that actually decently well and then to like stop them from like potentially going from sweeping you to you being able to deal with them just by having a Mega Manetric on your team in that way like even if they look terrifying um you and then you've just got a King Gambit in the back I mean like th this mon is this mon ends up forcing just so much prep from its sheer ability to do damage so scary mon Scary team, like your speed is fairly solid. Um, it's my only kind of gripe here is 90 to 60, but alright, whatever. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Like, yeah, more like nine ballers here as well. Yeah, I, I don't know what, how much more to say. This is my favorite team. It's very close between, I think, the top couple of teams here. But yeah, I think Kuma just slightly edges it for me. So that is the Karkol Power Rankings for Season 11. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, have a good day. Ciao.